These are emotionally draining times. And I'm tired. Je ne viendrai pas à l'événement. Tu n'arriveras pas à me faire changer d'avis. C'est pas pour ça que je t'appelle. Ah ouais C'est pourquoi cette fois-ci Tu te souviens la dernière fois quand, quand tu m'as dit que si j'avais besoin d'un ami, tu serais là. Est-ce que... Est-ce que tu le pensais vraiment Ouais, bien sûr. Parce que je peux pas en parler à mes amis. Pourquoi parce que j'ai honte, j'ai pas envie qu'elle qu le sache. Écoute, vas-y, hein, je suis sûr que ce n'est pas aussi grave que ça. Tu sais, l'esprit souvent nous joue des tours. Hein, il nous fait voir des choses de manière plus grave, que ça me lève vraiment et ça me fait stresser. Donc vas-y. Un mec avec qui j'ai couché m'envoie un message pour me dire que c'est des positifs. Ah merde. Ah oh, merde, c'est lequel de Dieu et c'était quand la dernière fois, si je peux demander Ouais, tu peux citer. C'était il y a longtemps, c'était un moment, mais, mais on l'a fait sans protection. Euh, écoute, ben, tout le monde fait des erreurs. Ouais, il y en a certaines qui sont quand même plus débiles que les autres. Il n'y a pas de place actuellement pour le regret. Euh, ça ne te serait d'aucune utilité. Ce qui compte actuellement, c'est ce que tu comptes faire. J'arrive plus à réfléchir. Mon cerveau a arrêté de fonctionner quand j'ai reçu ce message. Je, je sais pas quoi faire. Euh, je te conseille de te faire tester le plus vite possible. Ah, tu peux faire un autotest en privé à la maison. Vraiment Oui, parce que j'ai vraiment pas envie que quelqu'un soit au courant. Non, ton statut, ça te regarde, Ruby. Et c'est vrai que c'est difficile, mais il a fait la meilleure chose en te laissant savoir. Comme ça, tu pourras faire quelque chose à propos de ça. Non, mais j'imagine, mais... mais et si je suis positive Qu'est-ce que ma vie va devenir Comment tout va changer. Il y a une vie avec le VIH. Ce n'est pas la fin du monde. Qu'est-ce que t'en sais T'es séropositif, peut-être Non. Mais regarde, Tony. Le VIH ne l'a pas empêché de vivre sa meilleure vie. Et si tu es séropositif, bah, tu le pourrais aussi. Mais j'ai tellement peur. Oui, je sais. Mais tu es plus forte que ce que tu crois. Et si tu es séronégatif, bah, tu seras tellement soulagé et tu pourras ne plus coucher sans préservatif la prochaine fois. Ouais, j'imagine. Tu sais quoi Je crois que je vais me ruiner toutes mes chances avec toi en me disant tout ça. Hmm? Ruby, ce n'est pas ça le plus important. Hein? Tu dois faire ton autotest et te préparer mentalement à ce que te promet le futur. Hmm? Et souviens-toi, je suis au bout du fil si tu as besoin de moi. Merci. We are just trying to deal with the aftermath of the surge of coronavirus infection, so we don't have time to panic. We just buckle down and fight. But in those quiet moments when I'm alone, I sometimes wonder, what if we can't beat this? I forbid you to think that way, please. <laughs> you forbid me? He sounds like my dad when I was trying to date in high school. <laughs> yes, there's a reason he's my favorite uncle. <laughs> But seriously though, the world's greatest minds are working together to kick COVID butt. So yes, it's taking time, but we really need them to get it right. So in the meantime, we'll just keep on keeping on because we don't have a choice. Do you hear? I hear you guys. It was just a little moment of weakness. I understand, but there's no room for negativity. Not now. I lost five patients this week. And one of them was in his 30s, a day. And all the signs said that he should have recovered, but he didn't. It was horrible. And then I had to tell his wife, and they'd only been married a few months. But still, I had to go back to the ward and instill some positivity in my patients. I know people really want us to get back to business again, but we ain't there yet. We are not out of the woods yet. Nowhere near. Yeah, I know, but it's really hard for everyone to accept. 
all I see are people forgetting the rules. Instead of being more vigilant about the face masks, the hand washing, and the social distancing, you know, young people seem to be the biggest culprits. If we're gonna beat this, they need to take this thing seriously. Yeah, but it's a tricky situation still. So take Hadiza for example. She really wants to go and bury her father, but she's not allowed to travel. And I personally really wish that I could do something, but I don't make the rules. Poor Hadiza. That story is becoming way too familiar. Well, enough of the serious talk, eh? Please. How is, um, how is Greg? How are you guys? Physically, he's fine. Mentally, not so much. He really doesn't want to go back to the office. He's convinced himself that he will catch COVID on the first day. <laughs> but he's following all the guidelines. It's good. That's how you guys will keep each other safe. Mm-hmm. And you, any new prospects? Are you serious? Prospects where? In the middle of this COVID crisis? Abba. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, crisis situations can create serious sparks. All that pent up stress, girl, keep your eyes open. <laughs> whoa, 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 see, the only sparks that I have seen recently is when I had to put that doctor guy in his place. Can you imagine he had the nerve to come up to me and tell me that, eh, that he has seen gray in my hair, that I might shall not hurry up and marry one of these desperate men so he can give me children before my eggs dry up. <laughs> I can never understand why do these sexist assholes think we care what they think? Please, after I give him the tongue lashing of his life, he will never come and talk to me again. <laughs> Chai! I know that's the best thing all too well. Poor guy, he probably had to run home to his mama for comfort. <laughs> well, very soon, eh? I will go and rent boyfriend just so you people can just shut up and leave me alone. Ah, not single, I single, I no keep person. <laughs> <laughs> So you need to just relax and stop worrying about what Gabriel is up to. He's no longer your business because I can gain in that wimpy Okay? Like, you're free because you're free and you're safe and you freaking won. You're right. I freaking won. Exactly. So you need to hold on to that. Like, let it fuel you up a bit. You get me? Thanks, cuz. And, um, how are you feeling? After, you can say it, abortion. Well, I know I made the right decision and I have no regrets. I just find myself getting emotional. I think I cried like 10 times in the last 24 hours. I would be a little worried if you weren't emotional. Mm -hmm. So did Saul's girlfriend get back to you? Yeah, she did. And she sent me a very nasty message. Basically, Angela to go F myself. Mm, she doesn't believe you. Oh, but it's understandable. I mean, it's a lot to take in. <sighs> yeah, D, I guess. But I tried, okay? My conscience is clear. And Saul, are you still going to work with him? I need his business so badly. Like, so badly. But I don't want to take money from Saul. This whole situation reminds me of this Andile thing. Like, just taking money from a bad person only leads to trouble. I agree. Stick to your principles, cuz. And I'm proud of you. <laughs> yeah, but my principles are not going to help me save my nail bar. My landlord called me and said I need to pay my rent in the next couple of days, or he's cancelling my lease. I begged, D. I begged till my face turned blue, but he just didn't budge. Shit. How much is it? It's too much. I will not be able to get that much money so quickly. But you can't give up, cuz. Maybe you can sell your masks online? You never know. Uh, no. No, thank you. I am not doing anything online after the last time. That dick pic traumatized me. For life. I'll find another way. There's ways to keep trolls away. You just need to get someone to set up your website for you. You know I don't have that much of money. Okay. We'll find another way. If you have any questions about COVID-19, text the word COVID to plus 41-798-931-892 on WhatsApp. For more information about coronavirus or related issues, visit mtvsugar.com forward slash alone together.
Terms and conditions apply.